All right, today I'm going to show you how to make some color value. And we're going to be working with uh, this sheet here today. And I want you to start off with uh, one color plus black and white. Okay? So we're going to try to make the different shades of one color. So you're going to be using a magazine today. This is kind of nice because then at the end we can just rip off the page and throw it away. Uh, but as you can see, I have blue and then I have black and white over here. So we're going to make uh, different tints, which are uh, a lighter version of blue. And then a shade is when you add black and the darker version of, of blue, or it could be another color too. The first thing I'm going to do uh, is on this scale is we're going to work with the true hue, which is the color, how it comes out of the bottle. So I'm going to be painting this one in here, just regular blue. So with my brush, I'm going to be careful with my brush, make sure not to get it onto the metal part. Uh, if you have it way up there, you got way too much on there. Uh, but you're going to work with your brush strokes, uh, painting in the lines, nice and neat. And I like to go around the edges first of all. Now that I've had this one done, I'm going to work with uh, the uh, tints, okay? So I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So as you can see over here, this is where it gets lighter. Now, uh, since I already have this brush and I have some blue on it, I'm going to work a little bit more over here. So off to the side, if you can see here, so I'm going to take a little bit of my blue right over here and I'm going to make a, a little bit lighter, okay? So then I'm going to take a little bit of white I'm not going to mix up all of the white because I want that a little bit later. And I'm going to make a little bit lighter version of the blue. So I kind of like that. It's a little bit lighter, but it's not too light. I'm going to go ahead and paint that in. It's got to be lighter than that true hue there. If it's the same color or the same shade there, then it is too, or you have to add more white to it. For this last one then, uh, we're going to make another one. So this one, I'm going to actually just use my brush and take some white off to the side. And we want to go, try to go as light as you can with it. And I kind of like that right there. Maybe even a little bit more white. Just a little bit of blue into that one. Makes a nice creamy white, or a light blue. Now we're going to work with the shaded part, so we're going to get a little bit darker with our blues. Okay, and we're trying to get really dark, almost a black, but just a little bit of blue in there. So what you can do now is you can have a new brush, or if you're going to wash out, you would clean with the water. You can either take it to the sink and do this, or I like to have a little water bias. Uh, clean it off a little bit in the water there, and then you would need to dry it as well with a paper towel. We want a clean brush before we get into the shaded part. So next we want to, um, I'm going to start here, uh, take a little blue off to the side. And I'm going to go probably a couple scoops there. And I'm just going to do probably one uh, little scoop of black. It's going to change it quickly, so it doesn't take a whole lot. And then I'm going to paint with that one. It didn't take a whole lot to get that darker. And 
And then the final one, uh, we're going to go a little bit more blue here. And then we're going to add even more black, probably two scoops of black, almost to the point where it is black, but you might see just a little bit of blue in there. And this is going to be a value scale with one color added to it. Now the final thing what I want you to do, once you're done with this, uh, you'll set this off to side, let dry on the drying rack, uh, and then you can do a painting on your own. So here's an example of what you could do. You could do with shapes, you could take lines, and then each one of those shapes you're going to fill in uh, with different shades as you go along. Alright guys, good luck with your work today.